multi time frame trading for Forex. So you want to trade the five minute chart. You think that dealing with daily charts is useless since it's way too high of a time frame for you as a trader? Well, let's look at this from a different angle, the angle of multi time frame confluence. Each time frame cascading downwards has less of an effect on the market. The moves are smaller per bar and there is more chance to be affected by large transactions. Well, let's take a quick look at this. We'll start in the five minute chart that we want to trade. Moves here seem big, lots of bars, we're going forward. But if we look upwards to a 30 minute chart, all of a sudden these moves are less significant. The bars are bigger and there's more transactions being done during this 30 minute period. There's more time in a 30 minute chart than a five minute chart. That goes as we go up in time frames. Take a look at a 60 and all of a sudden the moves in the 30 become less and less significant. We'll notice particularly this one bar here that was both a down and then a quick up bar in both the 30 and five minute charts is now just a single bar. It's condensed down. We're condensing a lot of information down as we go higher in time frame. And we can see that exact same setup in 30 minute. First we see the down bar and then the up bar. And then that condenses even further when we look at the daily. So how does this affect us as uh, Forex traders? Well, we have to look at this and prevent us from getting blinders on. By using multi time frame confluence, we're preventing ourselves from being blinded by what is right around us. If you're driving a car and you only look 10 feet in front of your car, sure, if you're fine if you're in gridlock traffic. But when it comes to going full speed on the highway, you need to be paying attention to what is coming up. Is there a turn? Is there a stop sign when you have to go from 50 to zero in a matter of seconds? Large transactions being done on, say, the daily chart here are incredibly important because a large transaction being done here can completely wipe out whatever trend you're seeing in the short five minute charts. Now, we're not trading the daily charts right now, and that's not what we're talking about. We're still talking about the five minute charts. Those five minute charts are affected by what happens on the daily, hourly, 30 minutes, weekly. There are traders at all these time frames, and we have to understand that the lower time frame that we go down all the way from daily or above down to five minute or below is going to be affected. So in order to trade this five minute chart, when we look at today and we see, okay, we, we don't even like say we have two days of data. Um, a quick reference that I have is each of these blue squares here is represented it represents one full day of trading. So when we look at this, we see a market that was flat and then rising, but is still encompassed. We can see all of this, all of this recent upwards movement is encompassed by this down movement. So this recent upwards movement is completely encompassed by it. And then we have an area here where the market was just flat. That's good information. We can trade off this. We can look at the highs and the lows, or you can trade whatever forex strategy you're working on. You're trading breakouts from um, consolidation areas. You might be trading a breakout on this market. That's fine. But with multi time frame analysis, we want to understand exactly what's happening in the market in a broader sense so that we can apply that to these um, small, more micro, micro time frames. So we can just go up one time frame and take a look on the 30 minutes and see what's happening there. We see that this is making a attempt at a previous high here and this is all encompassed, all of this upwards uh, movement today is not only encompassed by the downwards movement from the other day, but also the upwards movement from the previous day. So we know there is strength in this market to push this market up, that where we're at right now may not be the absolute high of today. But we want to take one step even further before we're doing all of this work to anal analyze the charts and see well, what's happening in this market. Right now it looks like it's just hovering between these two levels. We want to take a step back, way back, before we're doing this micro analysis on these charts and just take a look at the dailies. So when we actually take a look at the dailies, all of the information that we were looking at in the last few minutes happened right here. It's two bars, or two or three bars. It's a blip on this market, an absolute blip. Because if we take a look here, 
we can see that, okay, well, the market's been making a strong, strong move up in the last while. And only recently has it started to do a dip. It looks like it's doing a dip. Oh, not that. Very similar to this area where the mark kind of flattens out, moves down, moves up. Although one thing I do note is the fact that we are getting a bit lower lows here and consistent lower highs. That's that's whatever, depending on whatever trading strategy you're using. I'm just referencing one that I trade with. But we see two similar areas. All right, we see this one and we see this area right here. All right, so we see a little bit of similarities. Well, let's draw a trend line. So we can take the bottom or roughly around the meat and draw it through the meat of these bottoms. Well, that's quite a good trend line. And what it shows us is the fact that this market is approaching near this trend line right now. It shows us that we have possibly a bit more room towards the bottom of this market. And it shows us that the general trend is still upwards. And we can zoom out even a little bit further. And then all of a sudden we see that this trend line is broken. So we can change this trend line. And now we get a bigger sense. We're looking back all the way to 2016 here. So we're looking at six months or more of data. This is all, uh, this is incredibly important because this all affects what happens on the five minute time frame, surprisingly enough. So we draw an extended line. We look at our first trend line here, where we're getting a movement up, but not an excessive movement, just a slow crawl up. We can look at our second trend line when we start getting higher highs and higher lows, and this actually goes through the bottom of this market here. And then we can draw a third trend line right here. And all of these, we can see that this market still could be ha could have a lot of strength in the upwards direction. It still hasn't even bothered to touch this trend line. But one thing that I guarantee you I'll be looking at when this market starts approaching, if it does continue to make lower lows down to this trend line, is the day it's getting near this trend line, I'll be paying attention because it's shown on multiple occasions here, here, and here, that this trend line has been an area where the market tends to make a reversal towards the upside direction. So that information, when we're looking down on the five minute time frame, say the market makes it down here, or even if it flattens out and makes it over here, I'm gonna want to be paying attention to this specific area on the chart when we're trading our five minute charts. That's the essence of multi time frame analysis. We really want to be paying attention to what the market has done previously in the larger sense than when we drill down to the five minutes here and we just are blinded by what we're seeing right on the chart. We're seeing spiky movements day after day and not getting a full grip of what's happened in the market to result in this current outcome. So applying technical anal classic technical analysis to your charts on the higher time frame can give you a little bit of an edge even when you're trading extremely low time frames such as five or one minutes because it gives you a broader sense of what has happened in the market and therefore what may happen because trading is all based on what has happened. That's why we're not making new highs every single day or new lows every single day. That's why the market tends to stay within bands. There's areas where traders feel more comfortable trading and there's areas that have been found to be in agreement between buyers and sellers. This is an area of consolidation. We're, we're gonna be looking for areas of consolidation or areas of resistance and support in the higher time frames, like we were talking about with the dailies when we're trading the five minute charts because these levels, well, they might not always be relevant. We're not always gonna be making new highs. But another thing that I can say is when this five minute chart does eventually retest this high here, we're gonna to wanna to be paying attention to it. Or even in fact, when we're trading the five minutes, we wanna see when it retests this high because we know for a fact that one, two, this is the third down where this market has been making steps down on its highs. So we will want to be watching it when this market reapproaches any of these levels. This multi-time frame analysis of 
these higher time frames doesn't take a lot of time but it can immeasurably help you no matter what trading strategy you're using on the five minute charts to understand levels that may pose support and resistance so when we're trading this five minute chart and all of a sudden the market does an absolute crazy swing or stops for no apparent reason at a level then we may be able to reference a higher time frame before that happens to understand why it happened. Do you have any trading topics that you'd like covered? Leave a comment below and we can dive deeper into all things trading. If you just enjoyed the video, please subscribe or leave a like.